Hey everybody, Peter Valley here, and welcome to the first of three videos that I'm going to send you this week on the extremely important but under-discussed subject of pricing strategy using fulfillment by Amazon. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what I'm calling the Amazon pricing conspiracy. And it sounds very spooky, and it actually is. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll explain. I'm going to talk about why no one is talking about the pricing and what this sort of weird, almost creepy code of silence is actually costing you. And then, the second part of this video, we're going to talk about why pricing is as important or more important than sourcing. And if that sounds like a bold claim, I'm going to back it up with some hard numbers. So stay tuned for that. That's in the second part of this video. So I want to tell you why I'm sending you uh, these videos this week. So like I said, there's going to be three of them. And um, this is the first one. And I just want to kind of, in a nutshell, just break down this pricing epiphany that I had. It's actually been a slow, it wasn't a single moment, but it's sort of been a slow build over the last uh, year or so. And um, let me just kind of get into what that is. So there's four reasons that I consider price and strategy to be the, sort of the missing secret of profiting on Amazon. And it's extremely weird how little people are talking about this considering how big of an impact price and strategy can have, as I'll get into in a second. Um, so the big reason, number one, is that pricing applies to every single seller. Now, there's a lot of things you can be taught on how to make more money on Amazon, right? Can you think of one other element of selling on Amazon that applies to everybody, right? Like I can teach you a source, but you may not have that source in your area. I can teach you a different trick to get new inventory from some other weird way. Um, it, it very Almost nothing applies to everybody, but pricing is something that every single Amazon seller can apply. Pricing applies to all inventory, number two. Again, um, there's almost nothing that you can be taught about Amazon that applies to literally your entire inventory. Number three is that pricing applies forever. And that's a weird way to <laughs> put it. But what that means is that if you learn solid pricing strategy today, this is a, a, a gift that will pay dividends for the rest of your Amazon selling career. Again, that doesn't apply to anything else. Sources dry up little tricks and schemes and you know software all this stuff tends to become obsolete eventually but pricing strategy is timeless and the fourth one is that pricing can be put into action instantly again let's talk about sourcing if I taught you a new source well uh, you have to get in your car or wait until the morning depending on when you're watching this uh, you have to drive to the source you have to buy the inventory if it even has inventory you have to ship it in you have to wait for it to sell pricing is something that you can start profiting off of literally right now once you learn good pricing strategy okay so what all this means is that pricing is literally the highest impact component of any Amazon business and I haven't heard anyone else talking about pricing in these terms so I just really you know just kind of Take in these four things just to kind of set the, the stage for what we're going to talk about here and just, just to kind of internalize how important pricing strategy is. Okay, so now let's talk about my conspiracy theory, okay? So if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that occasionally I tend to get a little conspiratorial, but I do back it up too. So tell me something. Have you noticed how almost nobody talks about the subject of pricing when it comes to selling with FBA. Have you noticed that these so-called gurus have a virtual blackout on this topic and literally, almost literally refuse to discuss pricing strategy? It's kind of weird when you think about it. Have you ever noticed that if these guys, you know, these self-identified gurus or Amazon coaches, if they do talk about it, their attitude is always, hey man, just do your own thing, whatever you want, whatever feels good to you, man before they just quickly change the subject. Okay, and I've actually seen this play out multiple times in these forums where it's like, whatever you want, man, hey, it's cool. And they have no interest in actually helping you um, with, again, what is like the biggest subject there is when it comes to making money, which is how you price things. Have you ever been on these forums and noticed almost literally violent reactions to anyone who suggests that you should do anything other than price the laziest way possible and go for the quickest sale. And when I say laziest way possible, I mean the absence of pricing strategy. If you try to bring up applying actual strategy to pricing, people freak out. And again, I've seen this play out many, many times. It's, it's extremely weird. Something's going on. You got, what do you think that is? I actually have a couple theories. But something is definitely going on here. Um, now, what could be more important than the amount of money that people pay you for your products? And that's all we're talking about with pricing strategy in simple terms. We're talking about getting the most amount for your inventory within the time frame that you wish for that inventory to sell. 
okay this is where the rubber meets the road pricing is where the rubber meets the road on Amazon so why the heck is nobody talking about this why do the gurus refuse to teach this stuff and why do sellers literally well not literally but almost literally throw their hands over their ears if you bring this up like what the heck is going on anytime there is a willful ignorance and a sort of creepy code of silence around any element uh, of selling on Amazon you should hear the cash register ring, okay? Because that means there is a huge blind spot that other people are ignoring that you can cash in on, okay? So that's what we're here to talk about. This code of silence equals big opportunity. And I would say this code of silence exists for three reasons. And I'm talking specifically now about these self-identified gurus who refuse to talk about the subject, okay? And I wanna be clear, it's not if anybody who refuses to talk about price and strategy is, is part of a cover-up but the ones that tell you that when it does come up, just tell you, oh, do your own thing, man. Those are the ones we have to be suspicious of, okay? Here's the first reason. It's not an exciting subject, okay? If you're doing a blog or a YouTube channel, you, you want people to come watch your videos and read your blog. And the fact is pricing does not drive traffic to websites, okay? Number two, it's subjective. There, there is no right way to, pri to, to price something, right? It's always kind of a guessing game, so it's, it's kind of hard to teach. Number three, it's very complicated. There's at least six variables for you to consider every single time you set a price. And most people don't realize how, you know, how much, how data-driven pricing strategy can get. They might, if you think about it for a second, you might just consider like one or two, maybe three different factors when you're setting a price. There's actually six. So let's talk about these gurus for a second. Um, there's two types of these guys and ladies. Um, there are the ones who exist to help you, the one that have an interest in the ultimate outcome of you making the most money on Amazon, okay? That's the good kind of guru. Then there's the second kind. Those are the ones who exist just to pander to you, the ones who feed you this empty calorie quote advice for the benefit of making you like them, not because they actually care about you making more money on Amazon, okay? These are two very different types of people. And it should be very clear who falls in what camp once you've been selling on Amazon for any length of time. But a lot of newer sellers, you know, confuse the two and they don't actually know there's people out there who are really just telling them what they want to hear. Okay, so number one, the first type. These are the kind of gurus who give you information that will help you make money regardless of whether or not that information is popular and regardless of whether or not it will get clicks to their website, okay? These are the people that simply put information out there. They have no interest in generating cheap applause for themselves. They just want to help and they know honestly that the best way to maintain even if it is selfish in a way, the best way to maintain an audience over a long period of time is to help people. And the people who do well will come back to buy your products and read your blog, right? Okay, so that's the good kind of guru. These are the people whose focus is on results, not just generating lots of attention or um, you know, fake adoration on the internet, okay? Then, then there's the second type. The second type of guru, these are the people who tell you what you want to hear, often because they just like that applause and it helps them sell more products, right? So it's really easy to sell a product by just saying, hey, here's a product that um, will tell you exactly what you want to hear, that makes things seem a lot simpler than they really are, that makes things seem a lot easier than they really are. Give me your $97 and I'm going to give you this product and all your problems will be solved. And that's not how things work, okay? And they might get a quick sale, but the fact is they're going to lose people in the long term because people who buy their products simply will not succeed on Amazon, okay? Their focus is on popularity and just selling the latest stuff and not actually on delivering results, okay? So does this all make sense? We got two types of people out there teaching Amazon stuff. Um, so this is where an even more sinister conspiracy emerges. Are you guys ready to get into some some real uh, conspiratorial thinking? The fact is that most gurus are number two, okay? They just want your money and your applause. Um, there is no money in selling delayed gratification. And when you talk about pricing strategy, which is where this whole subject comes back around to, ultimately, if you're teaching smart pricing strategy, it's not going to be easy pricing strategy. It's going to be f a fairly complex subject that's going to take people's attention, okay? It's going to take people having an attention span to really understand how this stuff works. Now, the few that actually take the time to understand price and strategy and implement it will make way more money than anybody else, okay? But that's a select group of us who really take this seriously, okay? A lot of people just like to empty calories, and that's why these gurus kind of refuse to talk about it because there's no money in selling delayed gratification. In other words, 
take the time to learn this subject well and eventually you will get um, vastly greater returns than if you've done the opposite okay but that's not unfortunately most people on the internet have a kind of a get rich quick mentality and these gurus know that okay so there's no money in selling complex pricing formulas unfortunately now there's a lot of money in practicing a <laughs> complex pricing formula but from the gurus end um, there's a tremendous incentive to make things seem a lot easier than it really and simpler than they really are so anyone when it, the subject of pricing comes up who simply says do your own thing man whatever you want they don't care about your business okay they care about cheap applause and these gurus are teaching and in often cases selling instant results because that's where the money and attention is does that all make sense so here's a fact you will get more quote sales if you abandon pricing strategy if you just simply price like a robot you'll get more turnover with your inventory but you will make vastly less money does that make sense Okay, so now let's talk about the other side of this coin, which is the sellers who, you know, you go on these forums and Facebook and they all refuse to talk about this subject. And if anybody tries to bring up pricing strategy, they get shouted down by these people. And the fact is because applying pricing strategy forces people to think. When you apply strategy to the subject of pricing, you take people out of their robot state and actually force them to have to really um, apply some serious mental energy to doing it right and most people again they move in the direction of least resistance that's most people selling on Amazon that's most people in any type of business they're just gonna move in the direction of least resistance okay everyone wants that shortcut they want to scan click and then just have money pour out of their computer now pricing strategy isn't exactly hard but you do have to think to apply it, apply it well and it actually takes some attention span to learn. But this is opportunity in disguise, which is a point I'm fond of making, which is if you move in the direction of where other sellers won't go, that's always going to be money in your pocket. So I would consider pricing strategy right now to be the biggest blind spot amongst the Amazon selling world and where you can stand to make the most amount of money. Okay, so now we're going to get into possibly probably <laughs> what you really came to this video for which is not to hear my conspiracy theories but to understand why pricing is as important as sourcing and you probably are thinking this is kind of a bold statement um, but I'm gonna tell you how to triple your revenue with small changes to your pricing strategy okay and I'm gonna show you with real numbers how this works so what could be more important than pricing um, the price you set determines how much money people pay you and the price you set determines how much Amazon deposits into your bank account. You can't put it any more clearly than that. I mean, pricing is everything. It's not everything, but it's, you know, a sourcing is, is also probably tied with pricing, although there are certain ways it's actually more important, which I'll get into. But the subject is actually very, very huge. Um, and it's way more huge than anyone gives it credit for. And certainly, the enormity of the subject and the significance of it does not correlate to how much it's talked about, um, which is kind of the point of this whole video, which is why the heck is nobody talking about pricing and to impart just how important pricing is. Okay, so there are only three ways to get an edge over your competition. Now, I want you to think about this for a second because most people only think about two of these. Okay, so the first way to make more money than anyone else is to practice better sourcing basically getting more valuable inventory and a higher volume of inventory okay this was where most people's attention is focused and it's extremely important but it's where most people most people's attention starts and ends the second one is what we're gonna call better conversions now better conversions simply means um, increasing the likelihood that when people see your offer on Amazon that they purchase your offer over other offers okay so this is achieved primarily in a couple ways um, having a good feedback score is one um, you know, if you've got 98% positive feedback and someone with the same uh, price, priced offer has like 93% feedback and everything else is the same condition, they'll probably buy yours, right? Um, and also is selling your books via FBA or whatever you sell via FBA increases the likelihood you'll get a sale. Um, so there's maybe one or two other things, you know, having maybe you can increase like the, the average condition of your inventory that might help conversions. This is a very, very distant second to sourcing, um, but it, it can have an impact on your sales, right? But the third one is as important as sourcing and it's something that almost nobody's talking about and I don't have to tell you because you already know it's it's pricing okay um, 
we're talking about specifically about increasing the payout that you get per unit and also striking a balance between turnover rate and price, right? So you can price something really high, but if nobody's buying it, that might not be the smartest strategy. You want to, you know, sell something before um, you or your kids die, right? That should be a, that should that should be a goal. So there is a balance to be struck there. Um, I realized something early on in my Amazon selling career. I've been selling books on Amazon since 2007, and the one thing I noticed was kind of weird is that um, not actually so much in the beginning, but when I eventually switched over to FBA, it seemed like I made three times more um, than sellers, or I made more than sellers, rather, who had three times my inventory size, or I made three times more than sellers who had my same inventory size, and I think there's two factors at work here, and um, most people just focus on this, this first one, and they think that my success or anyone's success is solely based on the first one, which is knowing, basically, how high to price something. Okay, that's only part of it. That's a big part of it. It's only part of it. The second part is knowing when to price conservatively, because it's not simply a matter of um, just pricing really high and then and, you know then that just if you price twice as high as everybody else, you make twice as much money. That's actually not how it works. It's more complex than that, because you have to know when to price conservatively as well, and that hinges upon sales rank. So if you price too boldly or too conservatively exclusively, it's going to kill your profits. You have to do both and know when to apply each one. So I, what I realized about myself is I knew how to weigh, forgive the uh, typo there, <laughs> I knew how to weigh all the factors of setting, quote, the right price. Um, and there's actually six factors that go into every single price that I set. Literally every single item that I sell on Amazon has to go through a six-step process um, to know if I'm setting the right price. And most of those can be uh, ascertained in just literally a split second, right? So this isn't like I'm pulling out the whiteboard for each book I list. This all just happens almost instantaneously. But there still are six factors. So how powerful is pricing strategy? If I haven't sold you on this point yet. How important is it? Well, let's make the case here. I'm going to compare two pricing formulas and show you how one results in literally triple the revenue of the other one. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how to triple your revenue through pricing strategy using just a couple of examples. Okay, so example number one. Let's take a, a nervous seller. Let's call him um, Nervous McNervous. That's a real name. I know him personally. Uh, nervous McNervous um, takes a $2 book and he says, gosh, I need to get my money back. Uh, this is a book by, book, by the way, this is uh, selling for $2 Merchant Fulfilled, okay, just to be clear. And he's an FBA seller. So he's like, gosh, okay, two, okay, I got to get the sale, man. I, I, I need my fix. I need my the quickest return possible. So I'm going to price it $3.99 higher, and I'll get the top spot in the listings, and I'm going to get that quick sale. And so he lists his book. Um, for, uh, for $5.99, and he gets about a $2 payout. Again, we're just at, talking averages here. Gets a $2 payout from his $5.99 book. And, you know, maybe he paid a dollar for that book, but, man, is he happy because, God, he dodged a bullet there. He almost didn't sell that book in the same week. Oh, okay. Then the aggressive seller, who we're going to call uh, uh, Superman Bookseller Man, um, he takes that same $2 book, uh, Merchable Filled again, and prices it at $9.99 FBA. So he gets a $6 payout. Now, he's really not pricing that boldly. Again, we're only talking about um, uh, $8. It's actually only $4 higher than lowest merchant fulfilled offer when you factor in shipping, right? He's not really getting too bold, but you know he gets three times the payout. That's three times the return, pricing just a little bit differently. Okay, next guy. What do we call him? Nervous, big nervous man? Nervous, <laughs> nervous Mickey. Um, the nervous seller takes a penny book. Again, this is a book that is priced um, for a penny plus postage, merchant fulfilled. And he gets a little bit outside of the $3.99 threshold, $4, and he prices $5.99. Okay, again, he still gets a $2 payout. Then we get Superseller, Superman, Bookseller Man, who takes that penny book and prices at $9.99. Okay, when he gets a sale, he gets a $6 payout once again. So again, we see people that are practicing um, only slightly, one person practicing a, a slightly more bolder pricing strategy gets three times the return. Now, let's get into the next example. Um, nervous Mick. McGee, nervous man, um, who takes a $10 merchant fulfilled textbook and goes $10 higher and prices it at $20. He gets roughly a $13 payout because the textbook's going to be kind of heavy, so Amazon takes a bigger cut, okay? So super seller, Superman, Mick Superman, uh, takes that $10 textbook and prices it at $50. And he's probably not going to wait too much longer for a sale than that $20 seller. 
but he's going to get a $40 payout, which is a more than three times the return. So again, we I just showed you three different pricing examples, two different kinds of sellers, one practicing a not necessarily crazily bold, crazily, I, I made that word up several years ago, it's now in UrbanDictionary.com, but crazily, he's not pricing too crazily, but um, he's getting three times the return. So did I make my point, you guys? Slightly bolder pricing, triple the revenue. Okay, that is the power of pricing strategy. Now, there's a lot more to this than simply, quote, pricing high. Okay, there's a lot more to this. Um, and we're going to get into that actually in the next video, which I'm going to send you in a couple days. So let's talk really briefly about how superior pricing is actually better than sourcing. Generally, pricing and sourcing are equally important, as I said. I just demonstrated a simple pricing tweak that can triple your revenue, okay? Um, but imagine what it would be like to triple your sourcing. Again, the pricing strategy takes almost no effort. You're pricing something anyway, it's just pricing it slightly differently that triples your revenue. But to triple your sourcing, that's a lot of work, okay? So if you had to go out and triple your sourcing tomorrow, could you do it? I mean, you you have to like literally either triple the amount you get from your existing sources or triple the number of sources that you have currently for your inventory, okay? That's going to take some work, and you certainly can't do it overnight. However, with pricing, you can literally triple your revenue overnight through superior pricing and actually implement these type of pricing strategies. And I only showed you one. There's dozens but implement these simple pricing strategies starting right now. Superior pricing is literally 10 times easier than superior sourcing, okay? So that is the big key way that pricing is much, much better, a much better way to increase your revenue than sourcing. It is literally the final unexplored frontier of selling on Amazon. I've never seen anyone go deep into this subject before. And I'm about to do that in two big ways. The first way is I'm going to be sending you a couple more videos this week where I'm going to go even deeper into the subject of pricing strategy and how important it is. And the next way that we're going to go deep into this, um, can you tap your fingers on the table? Can we do a drum roll? In seven days, I'm debuting the first ever course to go deep, deep, deep into the subject of pricing strategy using fulfillment by Amazon. It's a very, very in-depth course called Pricing Mastery. It has 12 modules where I go deep into dozens of strategies for increasing your revenue through superior pricing using fulfillment by Amazon. It's the first of its kind video course. Like I said, there are 12 modules. It's going to be huge. <laughs> this is going to do wonders for your business. Um, I can almost guarantee that. And I actually go have several hours of me pricing, in addition to all the other content, the bonus footage of me pricing live um, on Amazon and telling you exactly why I'm setting my prices the way they are. This is just like super deep, super in-depth, and I'm really, really excited to share this stuff with you. This has been a year in the making. Um, so I really hope you get a chance to check it out. But even if you don't, I'm going to be sending you two more videos over the next few days, over the next five days or so on the subject of pricing strategy. And um, if you just can't wait to get this course, you can go to pricingmastery.com right now and just bookmark that and come back in seven days um, early in the morning and that page will be live and you can access the course immediately. Um, but Regardless of all that, I'm going to give you tons of really useful content, again, including this video and the next two I'm going to send you. So please look for those, and I'll see you over there.